following the terrorist attack on Propast, where eight I officers and five civilians were killed by Marxist party members. The syndicate has promised to maintain heightened security across Europolis until after the upcoming elections. The Propast district remains under full I lockdown and 24-hour curfew. We're now joined by Marek Farah in Propast. And Marek, how are regular people in Propast handling this very difficult situation? Well, Rika, as you can see, the streets here are deserted, almost two months after the August attack on the I headquarters in Propast. There's security everywhere, and everyone who goes outside is subject to random searches and arrests. There is a 24-hour curfew in effect, but people are allowed to traverse the districts as long as they carry the appropriate paperwork and submit to any searches and questions. What about essentials like food and water, Marek? Are any stores or restaurants still open? I think this Everything is, is closed, Rika, but good. rations are distributed to residents of Propast on a regular basis, and medical personnel are on constant standby. No one here is in any immediate danger of starvation. Has there been any indication of how long this lockdown will continue? The Syndicate is not saying, Rika, but spokespeople have hinted that Propast will remain under Syndicate guardianship until after the election in... We appear to have lost our connection to Marek Farah in Propast. We will attempt to re-establish the connection. In the meantime, when we come back, we talk to someone very close to Marxist leader and terrorist mastermind, Marta Rebus, about her dark and... Shit. Power's out. Again. I'm sure they're doing this just to screw with us. I'll have to check the emergency fuel cell in the kitchen cabinet. It should have kicked in by now. I can jiggle it. Nope, I guess I need... Zoe, my...